Hello again. This video will be giving you a brief insight into nonlinear behavior followed by ductile versus brittle behavior. Okay? In the previous video, I showed you a typical stress strain diagram of a metal that, um, that behaves initially in a linear form and then it was followed by a followed by a plastic and then nonlinear behavior. Now, some other, met uh, some other metals uh, can behave in a nonlinear fashion uh, and they don't have a defined yield stress. Now the problem with this is that it causes an imprecise elastic uh, plastic approximations and the challenge is to determine appropriate yield stress. So how do we do this? We incorporate something known as a proof stress. Now initially, before I show you anything, this is a stress strain diagram of a um, of a nonlinear metal, okay, or any other material. So ignoring the dashed line for now, as we can see, it's just a nonlinear behavior, as opposed to the previous video I showed you that it, it had an elastic region, then a plastic region, then strain hardening, then necking and fracture. Okay, so the previous video showed you elastic and plastic behavior. However, nonlinear behavior is just plastic deformations. You know, it's nonlinear. Uh, stress and strains are not linear, and the elastic modulus is not really a defined slope of a line. So if we just have a look at this graph, we can use a phenomenon known as the 0.2% proof stress to work out an approximate yield stress. So how do we do this? Initially, um, we have a bit of a straight line here. So we draw a dashed line through this one, as you can see, that's drawn already. All right, now, since we call this the 0.2% proof stress, 0.2% is also, like, obviously, 0 0.002.